Hello guys, welcome back. This is David. I hope you're doing well. I'm going to put on my Kaya instructor hat here for this uh, short video. I want to reach out to anybody about to study or thinking about studying for their Kaya charter. This video, the few ideas and tips and suggestions goes to make it easier. Now, the first thing I want to say to you is that uh, for myself, my Kaya journey started back in, yeah, back in 2007. And uh, ever since then, I've been running courses in, here in the UK, uh, supporting, meeting many students over the years, um, running Kaya courses. Now, uh, Kaya, of course, has evolved and changed over the years. Let's just pick up on some key ideas. Well, how can, how can we make it easier? What can I do before I start to really help? Well, the first thing I'm gonna recommend, guys, here, quite a practical idea, um, is there's, a, there's up to 30%, yeah, up to 30% of all the questions are calculations, potentially. Um, so getting used to, getting the right calculator, getting used to it, making friends with it, for example, practicing some of those basics, and uh, getting ready, really, for the key calculations, which are going to hit you pretty quickly in the material. Let me show you the calculator firstly. Now, there are, there are a number of calculators that you could potentially use, but the one to get hold of, I recommend, is the professional version, Texas BA Professional. And it does make a difference for one or two calculations, uh, which you can only do on this one. You can't do, for example, on the on other one, other versions. Now, um, as far as getting familiar and getting up to speed with the calculator, there are lots of ways to do this. For example, uh, Kaplan, of course, we're going to show you how to do that on all our courses. But you can do some things even before that in terms of some YouTube, YouTube learning. Um, because the, the basic functions of getting around your calculator, um, things like standard deviations, also guys, things like here, the uh, the net present uh, value, the internal rates of return, for example, the cash flow worksheets, these are very, very useful. And uh, very much so as well, the, the time value of money, the third line of the calculator really makes a difference. Getting used to using the memory, of course, always handy as well. Um, also getting used to things like continuous compounding, very, 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 very useful too. Using the uh, standard deviation, using the second and data, second and stats, really important too. So all, all these things you can find on YouTube. Also, of course, guys, in our Schweizer student portals, we have a lot of help there for you as well. So that'll make an enormous difference, save you, save you a lot of time getting that ready firstly. By the way, the calculator that we use for Kai is the very same one we use for FRM and for the CFA programs. It's very useful to know that. Now, many people that we meet on courses have studied using a different calculator often during their, their other studies. So kind of a bit of a surprise, bit of a shock to have to learn a new one. Now, um, over, over the years, uh, Kaya, of course, has evolved, but the most recent versions of Kaya, um, well, they do, they do require to, to speak certain languages. Um, I'm not talking about here or French or German. I, I mean the language of, of options, the language of uh, forwards, the language of futures, for example. Now, um, that's all it is, you know. I, I don't speak... The language of an electrician or a plumber. I don't speak the language of a construction worker, um, but I do speak the language of options, forwards, and futures. Uh, and what we need you to, I recommend that you really save you a lot of time, really help you. Is if you have never studied these before, for example, calls and puts, and then creating very basic strategies, um, our covered call, our protective puts. The, uh, the straddles, the bull and bear spreads. Um, this is just really terminology for some basic ideas. And, and again, there's lots of ways in which you can start to, to familiarize yourself, I suppose, with some basic strategies. Now, on our courses, we're going to cover it from scratch. We're going to cover it really well. Um, however, starting to do a little bit of homework, um, if you've never learned anything about what it means to be an option holder or an option writer, how the premiums work, the basic ideas of calls and puts would be enormously helpful. So again, our, on YouTube or on our portal, there are lots of ways you could start a bit earlier and get yourself some, some pre-work be extremely useful.
Now, interestingly, um, Kaya, it does refer a great deal to things like, for example, calls and puts, um, as well as covering these basic strategies all the way through. Now, if you have studied these a while ago, again, getting a bit of a refresher um, would be very helpful. I mentioned on our student portal, we've got lots of resources that can help you there. Um, same applies there to other derivatives like forwards and futures. Now, um, once again, um, getting an overview of how they work, mostly about the language, about the initial margin, the variation margin, guys, the exchange traded nature, of course, the mark to market, the cash flows. So these kind of things um, won't take long if you're not familiar to do a bit of homework and get a bit more familiar. Once again, the course will cover them, but it's going to be really useful if you have had a bit of pre-work. Now, um, let's talk about another major area in Kaya nowadays, which is uh, are corporate bonds, corporate bonds, and, and more generally fixed income. Now, they are form part of many different courses, many different qu uh, qualifications. Uh, here in the UK, for example, um, many, many qualifications that people do before Kaya have already covered basic derivatives and, and also corporate bonds as well. So if you're um, in the part of the world, guys, where you, you've already studied perhaps a slightly lower level qualification, this might be very familiar for you. And again, it's mostly about language. Are you okay with what a bond is, what a corporate bond is, in terms of a firm raising funds, often known as debt finance? Um, and a firm raising funds, um, offering investors the chance to lend the money effectively for a set period of time. The uh, interest that the investors receive for lending that money, we know it's called the coupon, and the amount they're going to receive back once the company pays them back, called the par value, face value. And then, um, again, understanding the idea of the market yield, the yield of that bond, and how that yield influences the price, very, very useful. Um, and moving a little bit further to the, the relationship with interest rates, the relationship goes with interest rate risk and how that might be measured. And so Kaya will also go to look at what's called the Macaulay duration, linked very much to the term or maturity of the bond and also the level of the coupon, for example. So the Macaulay duration, very useful to do a little bit of background on and um, the related modified duration as well. Now, uh, over the years, you know, I've met uh, students, number one, who have done some foundational work in the past. And, and if you're in that camp, if you have done some work in the past, that's going to help you enormously when you start your career studies properly. Also, I've met people who've had a complete kind of career change um, and perhaps have studied none of this before. I remember um, working with someone who's more, more of a biology, medical type um, uh, background and didn't know what a bond was, didn't know anything about finance at all, and really you know, gained an enormous amount of knowledge in a short space of time. That could work as well, but it's gonna require more work. So this video, save you some time, save you some, some hassle, uh, do a bit pre-work before you start. Now, aside from the calculator, the, the next area, this applies to everybody, whether you have some background in these areas or not. Um, and that's planning. Now, this applies not just to your Kaya studies, but to FRM, to CFA, to any designation as, uh, at all. Um, it is to really give yourself the maximum chance of success by planning that out, plan out your success. Really, this is the number one tip I, I can give you. Because if you don't have time to complete these activities, then, then it means that in your life you have too much going on. Why give yourself the stress of this as well? So um, to give yourself the, the maximum time, let your potential kind of flow through. It's really important that you give yourself the time. Now, when you look at the minimum time you're going to need, number one, you're going to need time, of course, to read the books. If you've not read the books, or if you judge you don't have time to read the books, uh, also, of course, we make it easier nowadays, of course, with our on-demand classes, um, it's even more effective if you can pre-read a chapter, pre-read a session, then uh, when you're ready, you can watch the on-demand um, on, on class with a Kyra instructor. 
You can pause it. You, of course, you can rewind it, being on demand. Start it whenever you like. You're not tied to a particular time. You can fit it in with your schedule. Um, so once you've read the books, when, read the chapter, once you've watched the class, um, then complete number two, the exercise with our online online QBank, our Schwarzer Pro QBank. Now, it, it's essential that they are hand in hand um, because you can read it and you can listen to it, but until you have a go at some questions, that's when you really know what you've understood and what you have and what you might have to go back to. Well, didn't quite understand that or what was that explanation again? Or yeah, I'm ready to move on. So working in that pattern, guys, reading, watching, practicing, very important. Now, that's going to take some time with your Kaya studies when you start there. Um, there are well over a thousand questions, guys, in the Schweizer Pro Q Bank, plenty of readings to, to follow through. So getting through that first kind of learning phase, if you like, of those three activities is going to take some time. And you want to leave yourself, I'd say, at least a month, at least a month for the review phase, revision phase. Um, and, and that's where we kind of um, bring it up a notch. The exam is approaching maybe maybe three, four weeks away. And that's where our on-demand review, guys, with an, and our mocks also come into play. And uh, here, rather than learning things for, for the first time, we're consolidating, we're refreshing, and very much we're practicing even more. So you want to practice with our, with our revision Q&A, revision questions coming in there, um, which very much kind of exam stand standard, and a chance to, to really you know, get as much experience of the how it might be tested in the exam. And starting to time yourself as well, thinking a lot more about practicing both the calculations up to 30% calculations and the wordy. Kai is extremely wordy. And so circling back, guys, uh, to checking things back to the books, checking back even to the videos, very useful. Um, I hadn't realized that. The questions will identify perhaps some weaker areas and some areas to beef up a bit more, a bit more, a uh, bit more work needed. Now, um, the practice, 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 the uh, the continual kind of cycling towards the exam here, often you go into exam mode. We're going to help you a lot with the exam techniques. Uh, makes a huge difference, guys, with your Kaya studies, being ready for how to handle the exam, whether it might be nerves or warming up on the day or warming up in the exam, the order you do questions in, tips about uh, how to handle calculations, um, also, importantly, playing to your strengths, all that's covered on our courses. Now, important that you've also, once you've uh, got your reviews done, could be the last couple of weeks to go, um, that the mocks come into play. So the Kaplan mocks and also the Kaya official mock as well. Now, the the uh, the idea of the mocks is not to get 100%. Um, it, it's not even the score that matters, really, uh, because the mocks are designed to be pretty brutal, pretty tough for you, because we want to keep you working right to the end. Um, and so the, the mocks are, are, again, more learning. They're more learning. Getting questions wrong is a bit of a gift. It's a present to you to tell you, here's something else that you can learn before the exam. And so that kind of uh, process, guys, there of getting them wrong to get them right, um, adding more and more, it's a bit like creating a painting or a, a picture. You're adding more detail all the way through towards your, your exam. Um, and uh, oftentimes, guys, here, one of the big things that's happening all the way through here is the instructor support, instructor help. Nowadays, that's also, of course, through the instructor link, um, where you can ask questions with to your, to your instructor's uh, directly, but also through the forums as well, our community forum, you can connect with other other Kaya students as well. So guys, just to summarise uh, this little video here, um, I'm an enormous fan of Kaya. One, one of the favourite things I do as far as teaching goes, um, because the content is really pure alts, pure alts. Um, other, other designations, they might cover a little bit of alts as a sideline, but here in the Kaya program, it's really written f f for the community, you know, by the community. Um, whether you work in alts at the moment or you're thinking about it, it's, uh, it's a very smart move to consider. It doesn't matter, in a way, what your background is. So if you go back here to the, these ideas, 
if you've got the enthusiasm, if you've got the interest, that will carry you forward, um, whatever your current kind of level of knowledge is, because a bit like that biology person I was telling you about earlier on, it was her interest in this that, uh, that does it. Also, finally, um, over the years in my Kaya, my Kaya teaching, I, I've met people from all kinds of kind of learning backgrounds as well. So if you're a little bit nervous about perhaps calculations or using a calculator, perhaps you don't know if you're able to do this, um, then the calculator can take the strain. It can do most of the work for you. So don't be put off by, by the calculations themselves. So guys, um, I hope you find this useful, and um, I want to wish you very, very well on your Kaya studies. This has been David, and uh, guys, all the very best. See you on the courses.